Hey Virgo, welcome to your October 2024 mid-month reading. We're just going to go ahead and get started and jump straight in. I hope you're doing well. If you're newer to my channel, I want to say welcome in. If you if you're wondering or if you become curious on how to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. If you click that link, it will take you straight to my website. And then from there, you can uh, purchase a reading. But let's go ahead and uh, jump into your reading here, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what the energies are here for you. Can you tell me for Virgo? All right, here we go. Queen of Wands here. Some of you may have fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, the Nine of Swords here in your current energy. Well, Nine of Swords is stress, worry, anxiety. It's the never-ending nightmare. It's like a problem that you're experiencing, and you're just trying to find the solution to the problem, but it's just very stressful, like trying to figure it out. Let's see, what is your challenge here for the for the rest of the month? You pulled the hair font here. Okay. Future position, you pulled the tower. Uh-oh. What's this about, Virgo? We'll see if that's a good tower or a bad tower. We got the page of swords here. The Nine of Cups has the advice here. Oh, okay, 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 I see here. Out come the Hermit. All right. You pull this Grand Trine card, it says blessings here. You know, Nine of Cups is a card of blessings. It's like something you've been praying for, Nine of Cups, like you being able to receive that. It's like receiving your wish fulfillment, right? The Nine of Cups. And that's your advice here. Your advice here, like right now, you may be wanting to know all the answers, right? Nine of Swords in your current energy. You may be wanting to know all the answers or you may be wanting to know all the logical steps right now that you can take in order for you to really get what it is that you're hoping for and desiring for. It's like, yes, take care of the controllables and, and focus on obviously putting in the work and stuff like that. But all the other things that you can't control or just those answers that, you know, that just aren't coming right away the nine of cups is saying here to to trust in your process here to trust and believe in yourself because even with the hair font being in the challenge the hair font does deal with our beliefs but it's in the challenge and the hair font does deal with faith as well the nine of cups is faith because it's a jupiter it's, it's jupiter and pisces so having having faith that there's things right now that you can't see there's forces behind this behind the scenes that are you know, putting things together that, you know, that are working with you here. And this is just about trusting in your process, surrendering to, surrendering in the way in which you can't control everything, right? But it's just about showing up queen of wands for your overall energy, your best self and doing your best, right? And being happy, being positive about what, what you know, what about your situation and what you're doing here and allowing yourself to like, I don't want to sound redundant, but like be confident, right? Be confident in yourself here. You did pull this tower card in the future. We're going to have to clarify and see what that is. I'm not sure. But the hermit here being in the outcome, there's something here that you're going to be learning by the end of the month that's going to be very useful and very practical for yourself. I also think that this hermit is you, Virgo. The hermit is connected to Virgo. And I know this is something that you're going to be stumbling across or something that you're going to be discovering here because the tower can be like an epiphany it's like something that you're like it's just like well okay i get it now it's like this flash of of information right or what whether it's literally like a, a download you get or whether it's like you're stumbling across something and you're like oh okay like i get it i know what to do now so i do think things but my point here with this card the grand trine blessings card is like i think things will turn out better than you expect I'm not saying like everything's going to be all sunshine and rainbows, right, for the rest of the month. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but I feel the timing of things right now is that like you, 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 you're in good timing with things. Like the timing is right for things here. It's just about you being able to be aware of that with this grand drawing, being aware 
and working with the energies that's at your disposal right now. When I say energies, it could be like, it could be, you know, the timing, like the energy of the timing here. You pull this gathering around the power of community here. And you know, the hair font could be communities too. Uh, so your challenge right now, maybe it is, maybe it is with a community here. Maybe you're trying to start your own community or maybe it's about trying to figure out a better way how to bring together community or where your place is in regards to community. There's also something I'm picking up here too to where you could be going to or attending some type of community thing. I always see sometimes like the hair font hermit combination as like a teacher, a guide, a guru, and this could be online. Someone who has wisdom experience is there to teach you how to practically also use it. So this could be like coaches, right? Some of you may be coaches. This can be like attending a uh, course, right? Making your own course. You have this stick, stick insect. It says stillness, awareness, discernment, composure here. Yeah, that's that nine of swords. It's like the mind could be frantic. And it's like, are we going to let our mind consume us and make us become anxiety ridden, right? And make us just become unglued. Like this card is about like remaining still, being aware, having discernment of our thoughts and keeping your composure. Let's clarify your read, Virgo. Clarify this Queen of Wands here for your overall energy. You pull the Page of Cups here. I think your overall energy for the rest of the month is there's new inspiration flowing through that you're tapping into. So this is about going with what you're inspired to do, where you're being intuitively led. Clarify the Nine of Swords. You have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Yeah, and your stress may be around money or career or work or projects or things, you know, developing certain things here. King of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Some of you could be fearing failure or feeling like you're a failure or afraid that you're going to fail. Clarify the Hierophant. You have the Six of Cups here, your challenge. I think you're trying to find certainty. And I feel like maybe there is none. Clarify the tower. You have the five of cups. Clarify that five of cups. You have the two of pentacles here. Yeah, you know, I kind of, you know, I, I feel, you know, tower two of pentacles is like, it's okay with accepting change, right? Like sometimes if things have grown stagnant, allow yourself to change, right? You don't have to stay rigid and stuck in one way. And I feel like you may be kind of being very hard on yourself, uh, maybe feeling like a failure, like feeling just like you're disappointing everyone or whatever right five of cups two of pentacles the tower maybe you do make some mistakes maybe you're making some mistakes but i think these mistakes aren't as big i think that these mistakes like you can learn from them the hierophant um but i think this is more so like past like the past like maybe it's like maybe you failed in the past or maybe you've give up, give up you, you gave up in the past or maybe you're just finding it difficult right now to figure out like how to go about something and it's like you could be very hard on yourself right now because it's not perfectly coming together the way you want it to but i think here that this tower like the lesson is like it's okay right like you're you're, you're having you're, you're building something here or you're changing something here and that takes time and a process to a pentacles that you you know that you'll learn along the way so don't be so hard on yourself with this five of cups clarify the hermit Clarify the Hermit here in the outcome. What's this about? Five of Wands here. And you have the Four of Cups here. Oh, Virgo. Let me see something. Clarify this Nine of Cups as the advice. The Magician. As above, so below is the Magician. Your advice is to believe that you can manifest, right? Like, 
Which I know it's a lot easier said than done, but the magician is you're the conduit of the divine. Work with work with use your skills, work with the energy, right? Put your faith and prayers out there to the universe. Be intentional. Start manifesting and believing in yourself here. Clarify the Page of Swords. You pull the Eight of Pentacles here. Something you're unaware of here. Yeah, you know, Page of Swords is a revolutionary. And uh, sometimes it's like we learn something new. Or we're learning something new. We're practicing and developing a skill. Eight of Pentacles. You could be wanting to bring in, like, fresh innovations, though. And you're being inspired to do that <coughs> with your work. Uh, I think here, this Hermit, Five of Wands, Four of Cups. You know, Virgo, I feel like this is a warning. Like, to not give up on yourself, the Hermit, Five of Wands, Four of Cups. Where you can become, like, very frustrated with things. Because the Hermit's there, it's like, okay, if the Hermit represents, it's the desire to learn and grow. But it's a spiritual lesson, right? It's like, you know, that we have to gain experience. And, like, if we fell, Five of Wands four cups and we give up on ourselves it's like we never really we don't learn and grow and i feel like spirits want you to stick with the process here i'm gonna pull you more cards of course you pull this all at your fingertips what has been created by one can have can be had by all yeah and this is you know don't get caught up in comparison i feel like at this time what you want you can't have you, you can't have it right but it's just about like believing in yourself nine of cups as the advice you did pull this purity card. It says ice here. I feel like you're like frozen. It's like you don't know how to get unstuck. But the magician is also the call for, that calls forth for urgency. Like just get started with the process. Like it's probably not going to make sense or you probably are going to run into obstacles. But it's like just getting into the flow and the rhythm of, of, of manifesting, of channeling your energy into what you're trying to create. You have this wailing tree. It says reconciliations here. And I feel like this is like the forgiveness part here. Like forgiving yourself with this five of cups here. Like forgiving yourself. Six of cups in the challenge. Forgiving yourself. Learning here. Let's see here. I'm going to extend your reading out. There we go. Pull the nine of pentacles here. And you pull the ten of cups. And you pulled the High Priestess here. So I feel like if you don't give up, right, obviously it's the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy that you'll be tapping into. And you'll also be, like, by tap with the High Priestess, you'll also be able to, like, trust yourself more here and be able to also enjoy your hard work. But I think it is, like, you, you have to be persistent here. I feel like I'm, like, a coach in this read. I feel like I'm preaching in a way. But hang in there, Virgo. So that's what I got for you, Virgo, in your reading. I'm going to leave your reading here. I appreciate you for watching, of course. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And otherwise than that, Virgo, I wish you the best. And I'll see you in your next video.